This mitten craft is a fun project to review how to convert fractions to decimals. The front of the mitten has a pattern made up of six colors, and on the back is the decimal and fraction value represented by each color. The mittens can be printed out with a blank template. The mittens come with either 100 squares or 200 squares for an added challenge. Mittens come with a right and left template option. They can be printed with a predetermined decimal value or a fraction value. The fractions come with a denominator of 100 or 200 depending on the design chosen. There's also a version that comes with a simplified fraction for an added challenge. In this video, I'll show you how to complete both the 100 square and 200 square mitten. For the first mitten, I'm starting with the 100 square. First, pick six colors for your mitten design. Shade the six boxes on the back of the mitten with your color choices. Then create a pattern by coloring the squares on the front of the mitten. Once the pattern is complete, it is time to make the calculations. Start by filling out the cuff section of the mitten. Write what one square value would be as a fraction and as a decimal. The fraction is 1 over 100 and the decimal value is 0 0.01. Calculating the value of one square will help with the next step. Then calculate the value of each color by counting the total number of boxes of that color on the front. Then write that number as the numerator and write 100 as the denominator on the back. Lastly, convert the fraction into a decimal value. Repeat these steps for each of the six colors. For the right mitten, I'm using a template that comes with a predetermined fraction value. For this example, first convert the fraction to a decimal, then decide on six colors for the design. Color the predetermined value for each color when making the mitten design. To assemble the mitten, first fold the mitten page in half. Next, cut carefully around the outside of the mitten. Cut with the design side facing you. The two sides can be slightly off from each other when folded. By placing the front of the mitten facing you, it will ensure that the front looks the most precise. Then cut a piece of string or yarn to attach the left and right mitten together. Tie the string around the loop on the side of each mitten. Lastly, open the mitten and apply glue, then close the mitten. Next is the 200 square mitten for students wanting a bigger challenge. First, color the mitten pattern. Color the boxes on the back of the mitten to match the six colors chosen for the pattern. As with the 100 square mitten, calculate the value of one square and represent it as a fraction and a decimal. For the mitten with 200 squares, the value is 1 over 200 and 0 0.005. Next, count the colored squares in the pattern and represent the value as a fraction. Then convert each fraction into a decimal value.
For an additional challenge, have students practice simplifying fractions. First, have them write the fraction in the colored boxes on the back of the mitten. Next, reduce the fraction where possible and record it beside. For templates with a predetermined decimal value, have students convert the decimal to a fraction to find out how many squares to color for each section. Have them set the denominator as 200. For templates with a predetermined simplified fraction, have students convert the fraction to a decimal value. Next, have them calculate the equivalent fraction with a denominator of 200 and write it in the boxes on the back. The 200 square mitten is assembled almost identically to the 100 square mitten, with a couple of modifications. First, fold the mitten page in half and cut carefully around the outside. Next, punch a hole in the corner of each cuff. Then open the mitten and apply glue and close each mitten. Cut a piece of string to attach the two together. Finally, loop the string around the hole created and tie to secure the string. I hope you enjoyed building this fraction mitten. If you're looking for more fun math crafts, check out my store shop.drawcom.com.